In this video, we'll ask to express the following in the form x plus iy, where x belongs to the real and y belongs to the reals. So what we've got then is this is Cartesian form and we've got polar form. So we want to switch polar form into Cartesian form. We should be fairly cool with our trig values. What you could do if you're not is just put up a little um, unit circle or um, cast diagram, whatever you want to call it. And all we're going to do is just convert these. So if we consider the first one, we've got 5. So 5, the cosine of pi by 2 is going to be naught plus i and the sine of pi by 2 is going to be 1. So what we end up with is the following. 5 lots of naught plus 5 lots of i is just going to give us 5i. And we should know that 5i sits on the imaginary axis up here if this was an argon diagram. The next one, we've got 1 half. The cosine of pi by 6 is root 3 over 2. The sine of pi by 6 is going to be now 1 half. So we end up with the following. We end up now with root 3 over 4 plus 1 over 4i. And that is in Cartesian form. Now we've got 6. The cosine of 5 pi by 6 is going to be negative root 3 over 2. The sine of 5 pi by 6 is the same as pi by 6. So that's going to be plus i multiplied by 1 half. So what we end up with now is minus 3 root 3 plus 3i. We'll do another couple. Um, let's look at this one. Okay, negative... Uh, 2 pi by 3 is going to be down in uh, this area right here. Let's grab that up. And we should hopefully know that sine is going to be minus a half. So, uh, sorry, cosine is going to be minus a half. So we've got 1. Let's put it on. 1, 2, and root 3. So on this one, we can say now the following. We've got 3. Now, cosine of minus uh, 2 pi by 3 is going to be minus 1 half. And then we're going to have sine is going to be plus i and then we're going to have now the minus root 3 over 2. So we could now write this equal to minus 3 over 2 minus 3 root 3 over 2i. Okay, and we'll do one more. Um, let's look at this one. Okay, we've got now 2 root 2, and we've got the cosine of minus pi by 4. The cosine of minus pi by 4 is 1 over root 2 plus i lots of the sine of pi, uh, minus pi by 4 is minus 1 over root 2. So all we need to do is multiply through and we get left now with the t uh, root 2's cancelling and we'll have 2 minus 2i. So there we go, fairly straightforward. Uh, cosine of uh, 7 pi by 6 is going to be negative root 3 over 2. Sine is going to be negative 1 half and just multiply through by the negative 4 and you'll get a positive. I'll leave that one for you. Um, but hopefully you can see it's fairly straightforward. We've just converted from polar to Cartesian form.